friends and welcome to another episode of Coach's Corner. Thanks as always to everyone for your feedback, your input and your questions. I'm absolutely having a blast with this. Those who listen to my podcast and radio show know that that's my favorite hour of the week. Well, this is now my second favorite hour of the week. Snippet of the week. This isn't an hour. Five minutes max. So stay with me. This is a question from Karen. So thank you, Karen, for submitting your question. Here it is. I would love to have you talk about goals. I think sometimes people feel like a goal is not reachable because it's too big. Rachel Hollis talks about roadmaps to get to a goal, like small steps. Is this something you agree with and talk to your clients about? I love talking about goals um, for a couple of reasons. One is because I realized that in the past, I set goals, I nailed them, and I wondered why I was so empty and unhappy once I achieved them. And so, this isn't quite answering your question yet, Karen, I will get there, but I think it's so important to be asking when you create a goal, is why? Why is this important to you? What I realized was that it really wasn't connected to something deeper within me. It was all the superficial stuff, like getting the house, getting the university degree, which I've never used, um, and so getting the car. All these things are really great and fun, but it's not really, these are the things that we're focusing on our goals on often, not always, but often. And so I think goal setting is a really powerful tool to A, get the thing, and B, be um, a way to really elevate you in a way that's meaningful and fulfilling. So that's how I start talking about goals with my clients. And then another biggest, one of the other biggest challenges I see people with goals is, is setting them too big without the proper follow up to achieve it. So according to research, everyone knows I love research. I've got the book right here, stick with it. This is a scientifically proven way to make habits stick. This, um, this doctor talks about how regardless of the size of the goal, we typically choose six to 10 steps to achieve it. So you can imagine if you set a massive, massive goal, regardless of size of goal, and you've only got six to 10 steps to achieve it, how's that gonna work for you? So I do think that's helpful to keep in mind. So what do I use? What do I help use myself personally? And what do I use for my clients? Where did it go? Just one second. Ta-da. So I wanted to show you what I use. It was already packed away in a bag that I'm using for a client today. So that's where I just ran off to grab it. This is called Passion Planner. I like the hard copy stuff. I love the feeling of writing my goals out, writing my actions out. Um, there's a lot of science on that too, in terms of what it does in the brain. That's for another day. So quite, quite simply, you'll see the four stickies here. I get clients to first create their dreams. Dreams are something like really big, three, to, three plus months out. Things that, you know, if all things being equal, if you had that Harry Potter magic quad you could make happen, that, that, you, would, that you would achieve. Goals break it down a little bit further. So the goals are like one to three months. So if this is your dream up here, what are the things, the biggest sort of chunks? I call them elephants. What are the elephants that you're gonna to have to eat in order to achieve that dream? And then the actions. These are the, these are the daily action steps. The little things that you do each day, the little bites that help you eat the elephant. What's that expression? How do you eat an elephant? One small bite at a time, something like that. Um, and then about and then reflections and that's not something that many of us spend time doing either I do it daily weekly and monthly the monthly one in this particular tool is amazing asking questions like what went well this month what didn't go well this month how have you changed this month on a scale of 1 to 10 how do you think you did this month how close are you to achieving your goal now and that then allows you to make tweaks to the goal that you might be then setting or the action steps that you're going to take. I have lots of other tools that I use, but I thought I'd introduce you to this. I hope this helps a little bit. Karen, let me know what you think and if you have any follow-up questions, I would be happy to answer. Hope you all have an amazing day 
Thanks, friends, and see you next week on Coach's Corner.